Science is amazing, there's always something new. Here's a cool experiment that you should never do. It's really done by magic, so tell your folks don't sue. This is not a theme song. It's a legal disclaimer. Welcome to the Magic Laboratory. I'm Dr. Scott Green, JD, because remember kids, a, a Juris doctor, doctor is a doctor. doctor. That's right. Now, did you ever notice when dad takes off his shoe at the end of the day, it smells terrible? Shouldn't he see a podiatrist about that? Well, guess what else that smell is? That's right, science. And we're gonna do an experiment to prove that smell and taste aren't always connected. Because that horrible smell in dad's shoe isn't so horrible when you do this simple experiment. You're gonna need to get your dad's shoe. Make sure there's nothing funky in there. This is my own dad's shoe. Stylish, good work dad. Take a whiff. Wow. It smells like a vinegar threw up. That smell comes from different stuff in the shoe. Sweat that comes through the sock, dead skin cells, bacteria, dirt that gets in from normal walking. But here's what we're gonna do. Take a little cup, make sure it fits inside the shoe. You don't want a cup that's too big or too small. That is perfect. Now, you're going to pour some water into the shoe. A few ounces ought to be enough. Perfect. Now you're gonna shake it up. Really make sure you get all those dead skin cells and dirt molecules. Smell again. Ugh. Somehow that's even worse, but that's okay. Because put your cup back inside the shoe. The water and all the bacteria and sweat and stuff that went through dad's sock to get into the shoe and now it's going through the membrane of the cup. You don't believe me? Check it out. This is science in action, my friends. Look at that beautiful sneaker juice. And remember what I said earlier about smell versus taste? Well, this smells disgusting, but it tastes delicious. For the Magic Laboratory, I'm Dr. Scott Green, JD. And remember, a Juris doctor is a doctor. <laughs> Scott Green is a professional magician and not a scientist. He's accomplishing these feats with magic. Magic, that's the joke. Do not try this at home. That would be stupid even for you. It's a legal disclaimer. It's a legal disclaimer.